starving. I had one meal today, I worked out, and then I had some fruit after my workout. I started working on emails, programs, lost track of time. <laughs> and so now I'm like, my stomach is growling and I'm starting to feel dizzy. Um, not, I haven't gotten hangry yet. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna go run the store and get some food. I'm gonna get out of these nasty, sweaty clothes. Yeah. You like my new shoes? You like them? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Went to the mall yesterday. I haven't been to the mall in forever and bought three pairs of new shoes. I think I spent like $400. <laughs> But it's an investment. And I also bought arch supports as well for um, my foot because I have a very high arch and I can remove it and put in whatever shoe I'm wearing for that day. But I think it'll help a lot, especially with the fasciitis and, and just having support while I work out. Yeah. These are the tailwinds. And I got another tailwind cleaned up and changed. Really all I did is change my shorts. Isn't it funny how we changed from gym clothes just to new gym clothes? <laughs> Story lives, right? Hi. <laughs> so I don't know what I want to eat. I'm so hungry that I'm not hungry. <laughs> so I ended up getting this brush, which is for your lipsticks, and so you just so it's more defining. <laughs> um, and then this little angled brush which is for eyeliner. So I'm gonna try this out and maybe that'll make uh, winging <laughs> eyeliner more fun and easy. And then I end up going with the actual, the angled brow definer. So I'm gonna try this one out. So hopefully these ones work really well. I will give you my review later. Hey guys, <laughs> I got this little, I got these little samples from Urban Decay, like of all these lipsticks. The one I did was called Big Bang. It's this one right here. It's like a metallic -y. It's got like sparkles in it. But I was just trying them on. <laughs> and then I put this on and I was like, I'm going to start recording. It's a pretty color. I like it. I'm actually glad I waited to eat because I'm going to make pizza tonight. So I'm kind of hoarding all my carbs. And I'm going to show you guys how to track pizza. The best way, easiest way to track pizza is by making your own. When you go somewhere, you don't really know how it's made, what the ingredients are. So this way, when you make it your own, you have full control over that. You know exactly what's in it. I got myself a sourdough loaf of bread. What are you doing? Got some basil and some pizza sauce. And this, I love this pizza sauce because it's so basic. And everything's, all the, the macros, everything's really easy to track. Olives. Also, too, mozzarella cheese, and I already have that. I seen this floating around, so I decided to get the s'mores, the red velvet, and goldfish. All this stuff, you ask? Well, <laughs> right now I am not dieting. I am fully enjoying food, and so why not? So I actually found um, this pizza recipe that I'm going to make. It was from, actually from Snapchat. It was posted on there how to make easy pizza or something like that. Come here. Oh. Yes. And <laughs> I've been trying so hard to vlog more and between everything it's trying to find the time for everything and balance it out. There's just not enough time in one day. <laughs> Um, I know there's there's so many people out there that that literally post probably two or three videos a day they either got a really good system now that I need to learn <laughs> or that's what they do for a living but me on the other hand I run a business with Zach I'm boss I have to you know handle employees so I have about four or five different um, employees below us now um, that you know we have to be there for um, besides that I'm, I'm, I'm teaching boot camps at the gym I'm also <laughs> got all my own clients at the gym and online you know having a house so I have responsibilities responsibilities here the dogs got three fur babies you know they're just these dogs are just like kids <laughs> You know, just a little bit, just a little bit. So I have so much responsibilities and I really, really try to, you know, vlog for more for you guys. Sometimes I find that I'm slacking on it a little bit. <laughs> 
<laughs> now I know you guys seen I, I announced it on Instagram, but I am currently working on an eight week challenge. This is going to be a do it yourself challenge. It's not going to be something that, you know, I'll be sending out weekly plans or anything like that. Basically this eight week challenge is, is going to be designed where the program changes about every two weeks. So you're going to have a new workout almost pretty much every single week. <laughs> Also a cardio schedule and what to do in the cardio the cardio the intensity the everything changes throughout the program And also it's going to include a macros guideline So it's going to help you kind of set up your day for and calculate your macros what carbs proteins fats are and how to be successful with the nutrition part and also we'll go over supplements as well the eight week challenge will include the training and the cardio and also the macros nutrition and guideline and the whole meal plan set up will be one together i'll also have the macros guideline set up the meal plan separate as well so if you don't want to take part in the actual workouts and you want just the the meal plan part because some people just want to folk you know they got the training down they need a little bit more help with the the nutrition I know you guys some of you have purchased my single day workouts in the past and I took all those ones down the ones that I did have on my website and I revamped all of them they are all new all brand new intense and some of them will be they'll be kind of categorized in full body shoulders and booty or tricep and shoulders or just shoulders or just core so they're gonna be and all different like combos and it'll be one single day so it'll basically be three three or four different circuits for one day and it'll kind of ha it'll have all the um, hashtags with the that'll go corresponding with the video so you can actually see how the workouts are done if you're um, confused and then a lot of the workouts that I've made up or gotten creative with they'll have a hashtag that'll take you right to that video so you can see how those combos are done especially too if they're if I were something I made up or or combined or whatever it is <laughs> I mean, it's all going to be brand new and it's going to be so awesome because I just want to help all you guys be more successful and educate you and guide you. And even if I can't work with every single one of you one on one with like online coaching, but at least you'll be able to have the methods that I do use in my online coaching and for, you know, my, my own self, but you'll have something to follow. You'll have the tools. The only thing is, is you're just going to have to self-motivate yourself and <laughs> you have to do it on your own. You have to be your own coach. So I'm really, really excited about that. I've been working so hard. I thought I was going to have it done a lot sooner, but you know, greatness takes time. <laughs> and these programs are going to be so detailed and they're going to be awesome. You guys are going to, the wait was going to be worth it. <laughs> I'm really, really, really excited that to finally soon have these released and they'll be available on my website. They'll be all different price range, anywhere from $10 to uh, $150. <laughs> so each one will be different depending on what the program is. We'll have, you know, email support. So if you guys do have a question or you're confused about something on the program, there will be an, an email in there. So when you do purchase the program, a specific email that's not that, so it'll go directly to me. It won't get lost in the slew of thousands of emails that I receive daily. These programs will be everywhere from beginner to advanced. So those of you that have already been in doing fitness for a while and you know what you're doing but you just want a little bit more of a challenge these workouts will just either spark new ideas or they will challenge you in a different way that maybe you haven't been doing before you even purchase the programs it'll be detailed of what's included beginner intermediate advanced so you'll know all that before you just purchase it so you're not gonna buy it and then be like well it's not what I wanted you know so it's it's gonna just be everything I've been working so hard on everything you guys so this is gonna be awesome I'm really really excited I can't wait to share it with you it's some coming soon I will have a release date soon <laughs> I'm almost done like literally I'm so close to finishing these programs I'm just gonna continually having new programs coming out um, once I get this first initial one going so um, yay! I took my uh, my pink off so I can eat. So I'm just making egg whites because I am planning for pizza tonight. So that's successful ma macros planning is you think about it ahead of time. And I want to save my fats and my carbs for pizza because that's where the majority of pizza is, is carbs and fat. Always got to have my... Dun 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 my reduced sugar ketchup because i like it on my eggs because it's good
You guys are probably going to ask me how I cook my egg whites. And all I did was garlic powder, paprika, sea salt, and pepper. Egg whites are the most purest form. It's like concentrated protein. There's no carbs, there's no fats or anything like that. So if you ever need a meal just to fill up protein, egg whites is like the perfect thing to go to. And you can spruce it up because I know a lot of people are not big Egg, egg fans you can spruce it up blend it in something you know cook it the way I did because it's actually really good that way I've been using the organic ones um, the muscle egg from muscle egg <laughs> 26 grams of protein in eight ounces and that's what I just did okay so how you guys are going to track your pizza is you're gonna go to recipes here and you can see I've already created a lot of recipes and you're going to do create new recipe and we want to do enter ingredients manually and we're going to call this pizza and we're going to say it's going to feed about eight people so now what we're going to do is start adding a green ingredients we will scan our pizza sauce so let's do one cup then we're going to add another ingredients olives olives have fat in them oh I didn't ever I didn't even know that till just now because I don't normally eat olives Zach likes olives let's say we're gonna add about three ounces of olives to that we're gonna scan our basil leaves because things like this do have carbs so you can see about two tablespoons is four grams of carbs say we're gonna do four tablespoons and then scan it see if it comes up there it is so what we're gonna do we're gonna have to get creative here we are going to weigh how much this thing is turn on my scale it's about 493 grams or one pound 14 ounces <laughs> you know 16 ounces in are in a pound so we got 16 and then plus 14 so that makes it 30 ounces total 30 ounces so you can see right there that whole loaf of bread you can see why pizza is so high calories <laughs> that doesn't even include anything else okay so now we're gonna add our mozzarella cheese it's coming I actually absolutely love cheese so I think I'm gonna do it one and a half cups because we're making our own pizza here guys these are the brown mushrooms so they are the cremini I think it's cremini. Let's do two ounces. And then what you're gonna do is go to the next screen and you are going to save it. Something like this is not gonna be on the exact macro, but it's gonna be close. So at least it'll help guide you. So you can see one serving is gonna be about 62 grams, um, or 63 grams of carbs, about seven grams of fat, I always round up, and then 16 grams of protein. Honestly though guys, if you don't want to track your pizza, don't have to track your pizza. I mean, a lot of times I don't and sometimes I do. Because I'm making it, I'm going to track it. Other times I'll have a cheat meal and I won't track it at all. If you are always curious too, um, you can go online to myfitnesspal.com and you're able to um, edit in under the foods and edit in your recipes and all of that. Um, online as well if you don't want to do it on your phone. I get the question a lot about how do you separate out your into five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals. You're going to click on food and you're going to go to settings and it's going to be right here under the food and exercise diary settings. You're going to see down here meal names. You can put in all these and you have like the supplements or you can put in six meals if you want or however you want to do it.
They good? I'm really good. Yeah. So yummy, my tummy. Yes. None for you. Oh. <laughs> He's showing off. Got his pounce. Oh. Zach's back on Doom. <laughs> Say what's up, Josh. Say hi. Hola. Guys, meet. See me like the oh, there's crew. Shit. Guys, meet Josh. <laughs> he is like family to us. He's like my bro. And Zach's lover. Best lover ever. <laughs> and Crew's lover. <laughs> He's obsessed with him. Every time Josh comes over, Crew shows off for Josh all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gotta show oh, okay. off for this. <laughs> what? He's on Doom. But that is the beauty of flexible dieting. If you have the patience and the time and really want to track your macros, that's all it is. And so you can enjoy a lot of those things pretty much whenever you want. You don't. Ha it doesn't have to be like only a cheat meal. Like you can include that in on your daily macros. So that's the nice thing about when you make your own stuff. <laughs> that's the nice thing when you. <laughs> Hello there, Zach. Oh jeez. <sighs> Crew almost just ate it through the door there. Did you see that? <laughs> when you're making your own stuff, you can really calculate down to how many carbs you're getting and stuff, you know, and make it simple like that. <laughs> and make it simple like that so you can enjoy those things. Oh, hello. Hello, Zach. Hello. Hello. <laughs> If you don't want to track uh, pizza or things like that, then don't do it. Remember, this lifestyle is for you. It's about you and only. So whatever makes you happy. I love tracking that stuff because then I can have a balance of everything and still be able to maintain the physique I have. <laughs> so I, that's what I think is great. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think is great about macros and counting macros. There's you know a little bit of a learning curve when you first get into it, but once you got it down, like you can really enjoy things. And especially too when you ever when you're bulking, when you're maintaining or you're dieting down fat loss, all you're doing is tweaking your macros and you can still enjoy a lot of stuff. Yeah. Zach eats whatever he wants. I don't eat everything. <laughs> you can get away with eating a lot. I need to eat a lot. Though. Yeah. Whoa. Why are you sitting on my shoe? <laughs> <laughs>